Whitley from the Pack Youth Services, and today I'm going to show you how to make apple donuts without even having to worry about frying, without having to worry about heat. You might be asking, how do I do that? Well, I will show you. So you need an apple. Um, this is a gala apple. You can use any apple. This is like one of those super easy, customizable ones. So what you want to do is just cut it into a round. All the way around the equator of the apple. Once you kind of have it started, you'll see. So you want them, you don't want them super, super thick, but vaguely thick, like a donut thickness. And then with this one, I might try to uh, do it this way. There we go. If you're the one cutting, make sure that you're trying to use as much of a flat surface whenever you're cutting as possible. Um, because it will make life a whole lot easier and you won't be as apt to cut yourself. So, got our apples cut in half. You can take, or into rounds, you can take a quarter or you can use a little paring knife. Just kind of cut in a little circle. I like these kinds of knives, these little flat end knives, because you're less likely to cut yourself with those. You don't have to, you can use whatever knife is around. With supervision, of course. But, well, that didn't work out quite the way we wanted it to, but it's, it's still round-ish. It's a round-ish. So, now, comes even more fun customization. You can put anything you want on it. You can put some peanut butter, almond butter, whatever nut butter you want. Or if nut butter is not your jam, you can use some of this really tasty pizza sauce that we made for our watermelon pizza. Um, you can totally use that on here and it'll help sort of keep, uh, keep them Held together a little bit, it'll be like glue to hold it together. And I'll have the uh, link to the watermelon pizza video down below. So you just slather it on there. Again, you can use literally anything you want for this. Um, you can do caramel if you want to go super, super sweet. Really, the possibilities are endless. Um, I will say, I wouldn't put chocolate sauce on one of these apple donuts. Um, just because like apple and chocolate, it's a little bit funky together, but if you wanna use chocolate chips, ah, that would be perfect. And then you can do your sprinkles however you want. You can do, I got some chopped walnuts here. I got some dried cranberries. Again, you can do whatever you want. The world is your oyster. I would say don't put oysters on an apple donut. Um, just because that could get a little, could get a little bit weird. Um, and if you want to be even more extra, extra, use some, some sprinkle sprinkles. So, that is how you make apple donuts without 
having to worry about any kind of heat or anything. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So, let me know what customizations you end up doing. I'll catch you next time.